Mary Church Terrell was an influential educator and activist. She was born in Mary Eliza Church on September 23, 1863 in Memphis, Tennessee. She was born into a family where both her parents, Robert Reed Church and his wife, Louisa Aries, were former slaves. They used their freedom to become small business owners and make themselves vital members of Memphis' growing black population. At early age, Terrell and her brother were taught the value of a good education. Hardworking and ambitious Terrell went on to attend Orblin College in Ohio, where in 1884 she became one of the first African American women to earn a college degree. Four years later, she earned her master's and degree of education. Terrell was not someone who sat on the sidelines. In her new life in Washington, D.C., she became actively involved in the women's rights movement. In particular, she focused much of her attention on securing the right to vote. Terrell spoke highly about this issue, and with other activists, she founded the National Association of Colored Women in 1896. She was immediately named the organization's first president, a position she used to advance social and educational reforms. Mary Church Terrell was also an accomplished writer and poet. In 1940, she published her autobiography, A Colored Woman in a White World, depicting her struggles with race and gender discrimination in the U.S. In her book, she recounted the many occasions of discrimination she faced in restaurants, hotels, theaters, and other establishments. She wrote about how there were times when she was beat with hunger but was forced to walk past restaurants in Washington, D.C. because they did not serve black people. She also recounted how job offers were often revoked when employers found out she was black. Despite everything she had been through, however, the tone of her book was not angry or bitter, but was written in a powerful and hopeful style, a testament to her character. Terrell helped bring down segregation restaurants in her adopted home of Washington, D.C. After being refused service by a whites-only restaurant in 1950, Terrell and, and several other activists sued the establishment, laying the groundwork for the eventual court order that ruled that all segregated restaurants in the city of unconstitutional. Today, Mary Church Terrell's home in Washington, D.C., has been named a National Historic Landmark. Mary Church's death took place in Anne Arundel Medical Center, located in Annapolis, Maryland in 1954.